<laughs> Finding God in all things. 7 p.m. in Ignatius Chapel. Please come next week. But tonight we focus on this film about Flannery O'Connor. I'd like to introduce Tom Ryan, who is the director of the Loyola Institute of Ministry, who will introduce Father Bosco. Thank you, Father Ted. Um, I too want to extend a welcome to everybody here. We have we have we have people from Loyola. We have people from Xavier. Um, we also have people from Georgetown. So some of the Georgetown people are here, and uh, I. Um, um, the Georgetown missed a generation in my family. I, uh, my father went to Georgetown. My daughter just graduated from Georgetown, and I went to the Georgetown of the Midwest in South Bend. So, um, <laughs> but it's it's uh, it's good to be associated again with Georgetown. Uh, but uh, and I want to again welcome everybody, uh, including uh, our graduates of Georgetown. I'm the director of the Loyola Institute for Ministry. This is Lo Je uh, New Orleans Jesuit University. We offer for courses and programs and Ignatian spirituality and theology. And if you're interested in upcoming events in at Loyola, uh, uh, things associated with, with Flannery O'Connor, with Ignatian spirituality, things like that, I have a sign-up sheet. Um, also included, one of the things that we're doing, we have we offer a summer institute for, Catholic, uh, for a youth theology summer institute that brings uh, sophomores and juniors in high school school to Loyola to think about and reflect on the connection between faith and creation. So if you know any uh, sophomores or juniors in high school, I have some flyers about that. But as I say, uh, if you want to know information about events here, sign up and we'll, we'll get that information to you. Um, Father Ted also reminded me that today is Loyola Loyal Day. So, and that means uh, if you donate to Loyola, it will be matched. Today, so go to our website and you can you can do that Loyola Loyola Day. Um, so uh, we're delighted to have a uh, Flannery the film here tonight and the filmmakers. Here's here's the schedule for this evening. Uh, Father Mark Bosco, uh, Vice President for Mission and Ministry Georgetown, is going to say a few things about Lent and Flannery O'Connor. We'll watch the film, Flannery. It's about 97 minutes long. And we'll have afterwards a panel discussion with uh, the filmmakers, uh, all three filmmakers who are here tonight. So, And I'll introduce them uh, when at, at, the end, at the end of the film. But to, to begin with, I want to introduce Father Mark Bosco, who was appointed uh, Vice President for Mission and Ministry of Georgetown. Um, he also holds an appointment in English at Georgetown. His PhD is in Interdisciplinary Studies in Theology and Literature from the Graduate Theological Union in Berkeley, California. As a scholar, Father Mark uh, focuses much of his work on the intersection of theology and art, specifically the British and American Catholic literary tradition. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Father Mark, to say some words and to start the film. So, welcome, and again, thank you. Thank you very much, Tom, and it's really a, a pleasure to be with you here at Loyola New Orleans. I did teach for a while at another Loyola, it was a little farther north uh, from, of this place, so um, I, 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 love, I love being here as well. Um, I just want to say a few things really quickly, because the film, I think, will speak for itself and be in... in um, an invitation for you to, to get to know Flannery the way that um, I feel like I know Flannery, the way that my, my colleagues Elizabeth and Ted. Um, F Flannery and Lent actually go pretty well together. <laughs> uh, you're saying, why? Well, I was th on the plane over here, I was thinking to myself that Lent is a kind of a discipline that kind of draws you in and draws you into kind of insight about who you are, about your own messed up brokenness, about the sense that we're all kind of living and trying to kind of let, let go of our own righteousness, our self-righteousness. And Flannery O'Connor is basically the same thing. She is an exercise. She is a discipline. She calls you into her, in her stories to kind of come face to face with the darkness in the world and the human condition and the darkness that might actually kind of be um, part of your own kind of personality. It might be the darkness of our social world and she kind of draws us in there. So I think that's in some ways Lent and Flannery O'Connor is not a bad idea. Um, there's one 
Oops, I hope I didn't just lose it. I didn't. I just, I just want to read one text from that she read, which I think is really important as we start this film, especially kind of in a prayerful way. She writes this in one of her um, essays in Mystery and Manners. She says, quote, There is something in us as storytellers and as listeners to stories that demands the redemptive act, that demands that what falls at least be offered the chance to be restored. The reader of today looks for this motion, and rightly so. But what he has forgotten is the cost of it. His sense of evil is diluted or lacking altogether, and so he has forgotten the price of restoration. When he reads a novel, he wants either his sense tormented or his spirits raised. He wants to be transported instantly, either to mock damnation or a mock innocence. So I think Flannel kind of the storyteller tells the arc of redemption. And that act of redemption is not sentimental in any way, shape, or form. She will use sentiment. She will use humor. She will use uh, racism, classism, sexism, you name it. She'll use it to draw you in and really ask you to look at yourself. So hopefully you'll see a bit of her stories in here, certainly her, part of her life, and, um, and we'll be happy to talk about the film. But really, the idea is that you become OCD on Flannery the way that we have become completely OCD on Flannery. So without further ado. Thank you. 